Okay, the second skill set that I had wanted you to address, and I have written instructions elsewhere in week two, is to actually create a PDF of your current portfolio site. I gave you instructions on how to download a free PDF converter called Cute PDF, and if you already happen to have something like Adobe PDF or a full-blown version of a PDF creator, you do not need to download the Cute PDF. However, Cute PDF is free, so if you don't have one, go ahead and follow those directions and um, install that. So I'm assuming at this point that you've gone ahead and installed. If you are having a problem getting installations going, drop me an email. I do have a video on how to do that as well. But from with any page, whether it's a Word document, whether it's an Excel document, whether it's a web page, creating a PDF is just merely a function of a print. So I'm going to click on File, and I'm going to select Print. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the Cute PDF Writer as my printer. It is not a physical printer, rather it is a PDF printer. I'm going to go ahead and click on Print and then momentarily what will come back to me is basically asking me where I want to save this file. Notice it says save as. I'm already in my SGET 621 folder mainly because I was working on this earlier but if you're not there go ahead and navigate to that and inside here is that module portfolio that we had created. Go ahead and double click into that because this particular file we do want inside the portfolio module. I'm going to go ahead and rename this to before. However, if you've already done this and given it a different name other than before, as long as it uploads correctly and it looks correct online, then you're fine. It should retain the .pdf. You can't get rid of that because you do need it still to be a PDF file. Go ahead and click on Save. And then that's basically it. Depending on your computer and your setup, it may actually come back to show you that PDF in the Adobe Reader. Mine's not doing that right now, but I can show you super quick what it would look like within um, my folder. And just so you can verify that it truly did create a PDF version. Here's my folder for this course, and here is my PDF, and I can see it's got the symbol, and lo and behold, if I double click on it, it truly does bring up a PDF of the document. And that's the uh, second portion of our little exercise tonight is to go ahead and create a PDF